45. Just put five cups in when I woke up because I couldn't sleep. I'm sick of laying there. I figured it was like 4.30. I figured I had a little bit of time for cusp left. Yep, there we go. It feels really small again. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I wanted to leave it for you, but it was going to spool. Oh, that's I'm going to need help with this line. I can't control it. The friggin' wind. Oh, and it's getting caught all over the ice. I'll do it this way. That's a little better. It felt heavier at first. close here. I just had a bait robber on this one like It's a white fish. Ah! Big white fish. It is big. You don't have white fish at all. No, we can't. I've never, I didn't expect it to run like that. Whitefish. Huh. The hook is out through the bottom of the mouth. Yep. It must have had something on it. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. Here we are. Day two on Chamberlain. I can't use my tripod because the wind's going to just take it. It is very, very windy today. So we've had nothing but whitefish so far. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they're fun to catch too, and they're good eating. But we really want to catch some trout so this morning we moved five of our traps and i just moved two more so far the ones we've moved closer to shore have done nothing and the ones we moved further out more white fish hitting so let's see here we're at 13 feet and four feet down set a few for brook trout here seems like it would be a good spot and there's actually a Out from cusp tonight, but I'm not gonna set my ones further out. The wind's supposed to.
to be really brutal. It's pretty brutal now. Um, but the sun's actually been keeping us warm. But I will do some cusk closer in tonight. And uh, set up in the morning. I don't think we're going to have any more bait alive in the morning. Except we did bring worms. It started to die pretty quickly. Which we kind of expected. But, but the uh, white fish are hitting dead bait too. So <laughs> we can fish for them with dead bait tomorrow if we want. But it's still having a good time out here. The sun's keeping us warm. And there's just nobody out here today. The only person we've seen is the biologist. Um, yesterday it was pretty packed out here. But nothing going on today. There's been eagles everywhere. It's pretty nice. So the next video clip is kind of exciting. And I apologize that I did not have the camera angled correctly throughout all of it. Once I realized what I had on for a fish and that I had made a huge mistake, um, I kind of stopped paying attention to where the camera was. And uh, after I saved myself from my mistake, um, I may have done a little bit of yelling, but it's very exciting. So watch this. Oh, you're checking my bait. And I keep getting flagged and I yell flag, but with this wind and the generator, no way Brandon can hear me. I don't think you'd hear anything. A meteor could hit and he wouldn't hear right now. Oh, it's going too. That was. Whitefish are not particularly easy to keep on or hook very well. Oh shoot, the rest of that hole is not chiseled. Oh, that's not good. I should have done that first. Bad rookie mistake right there. And I'm not a rookie, I don't have an excuse. that big though. I think it'll come out of there. I can't. Nope, that's too hard. Let's see what I got. I have an angry fish. I have an angry fish. It does not want to come up. Oh boy, I'm really hoping I didn't make a huge mistake here. That ice. Like I got it hooked pretty well though. I lost a run. Oh, you wanna run? It's alright. I got time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. save I made right there. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I hope I got that on video.
<laughs> You're not gonna believe what happened. What happened? So, got the flag, nothing's happening. I assume it's a white fish. I only broke a little of the ice. I start pulling it up, I'm like, uh oh. Uh oh, this isn't gonna fit. I couldn't let it go and break the rest of the ice. Well, I got it up and it snapped the line on the ice. I plunged my hands down and grabbed it by the gill, barely. I mean, barely. That's a big brookie. That's the biggest brookie I've ever seen. No, it wasn't. Yeah, no, they have big brookies in here. <laughs> I just lost a whitefish, too. It's like I had two flags up. That's <laughs> we gotta get a measurement on it. I thought it was a toad, and I'm like, um, those are spots. I do, I can't believe. I mean, I saved that by a little finger in the gill. Yeah, I had to let it run, let it run, and I kept trying with my other hand to s smash the ice. That's an old fish, but I couldn't smash it. It was too thick, and I was, kept saying, I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. I'm going to lose this. I guess I set my record 20, 21 or 22. 21. 21 inch brookie, and I don't know how much that weighs, but it's probably five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was yelling to you for a while, but you couldn't hear me. All right. Success! Wow. No. <laughs> Nearing the end of day two, what we got for dinner tonight? So we got some chicken, we got some green peppers and onions. We're gonna have some quesadillas. We are. So we're gonna cook this up on the old smooth top. Yep. It's gonna smell good in here tonight. We were nice and warm last night. Tonight's gonna be a little cooler, about six degrees cooler with a little bit more wind. So hopefully we don't get cold, but I don't think we will. I think we'll be good. Um, gonna go out after dinner. I'm gonna pull five traps and just set five for cuss because it's gonna be so windy. Um, I don't want to be going out to the ones way out in the dark and that crazy wind, but. Yeah, it was a little brutal last night going out at 9.30. It was? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I bet it was. That's like finding Waldo situation. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's nice being out there at night though when the stars are out. I really, that's the thing I really like about cusk fishing is peace and the stars and was pretty. And another thing too, folks, when you guys go out, use your um, your, your pop-up shack, Eskimo, whatever. Make sure you guys put your windows up. Keep that air, that cold air from coming in. It keeps it out. So definitely keep those windows up on there. It does. I can't believe how much of a difference it makes. And all around the edges, um, we shoveled snow. I mean, you can't tell from in here, but we shoveled snow right up against it so there's no leaks at all. Um, and it, even with just a small heater. It's actually been pretty warm in here. All right. Tune in for some cuss catching later. <laughs>